Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the grade one Natal mistakes. Race number nine at Woodbine on Sunday. One of several races at Woodbine with Breeders' Cup implications. Want to have a little message for our friends at Ontario. However, if you can't make it out to the track, best place to go is Champions Off Track Betting. Over 50 locations across Ontario. Champions Off Track Betting brings the excitement of horse racing closer to home. The best thoroughbred and standard bred racing from tracks around the world. Visit right in your own neighborhood. Now let's meet the field of two-year-old fillies going a one-turn mile in the Grade One Natalma, perhaps a prep for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Fillies Turf. Mike, you and I are going to take this field in post position order beginning with the number one, Walk in Marrakesh. This is a European invader who had a three-race win streak snapped last time out in a group event in France. Let's watch that race. It was only a four-horse field. She was able to make the lead over soft going. You can see that she's beaten right here. She eventually is going to re-rally and finish third. Not a great effort, but something tells me she didn't care for this ground. Yeah, like she, you can use that as, a, as an excuse for her um, and expect her to maybe run a little bit better this time. And I think she should be okay with the mile too, Dan. You know, we'll see what she does. She obviously was very precocious, got up to a really good start to her career. Um, and that's really the first time that race we just watched where she didn't really show up with her, with her best effort. But she doesn't seem like your typical European plotter. She has shown speed in most of her starts overseas. Maybe if she breaks here under Jamie Spencer, she can work out a trip tracking the pace early. Fellow European invader is the two Diamond Sparkles. This one privately purchased since her most recent start. Now with Mark Cassie, she upset two next out winners last time out. And this one's got a beautiful pedigree. Yeah, she took a big step forward last time, too. She was very green first time out. If you watch her debut, very green, didn't break in that race, really needed it, and took a big step forward last time. It's interesting that these connections uh, reached in for her and purchased her. Big name in this race is the three, Fair Maiden. This is a filly that's won her last two starts by a combined 21 and three-quarter lengths, one on synthetic, one on turf both sprinting. This race, the catch a glimpse though, a local prep for the Natalma, and here she is on the outside. She's been prompting the lead throughout, and they've been going pretty fast over this yielding turf course. She makes the lead, and like a couple of two-year-olds that we've seen in the past, you know, I think she's looking around a little bit. She's playing with these horses, and then she goes on to her business. She has run real fast in her last two races. She's going to have to stretch out to a mile, but she's the horse to beat. Uh, she's the horse to beat by a long way. Back-to-back uh, -back buyers of 90 and 91 for a two-year-old. Um, that's nothing to sneeze at. She she was really impressive last time in that turf race. She broke alertly, but just rated very kindly in there. When it was go time, she dusted that field. This is way the horse to beat. Not sure one Ray Dreamer, the number four, is good enough to win this race, but maybe she can get a piece at a giant price for a good trainer in Josie Carroll. She made her debut on the turf in a maiden special. There was just no pace going on in that race. She got hung out wide throughout. Now she's getting Lasix, and this is the time of year where I think we're going to start seeing these tonalists start to improve with more distance and maturity. I agree with with all that stuff. This, if you just just watching her debut, it felt like a race she really needed, but she was actually staying on very well at the end of that race. I think she's going to take a step forward here. The five Saratoga Vision should have plenty of bottom for her route debut. This is going to be her eighth start already in 2019, but we just saw her in the catch a glimpse. She finished third that day. No match for Fair Maiden. Somehow she's going to have to make up eight lengths on that horse in less than a month. Yeah, it feels like they're just taking a shot in here. She looks overmatched. Let's look at Coach Laurie, another horse trained by Mark Cassie. This is a very impressive debut run going five furlongs on the turf. We'll go to Coach Laurie's stretch run. She is switching way to the outside over the inner turf course. This horse on the lead looks like she is absolutely home free, but Coach Laurie is resolute. She's flying right now. She gets up late. Only a 61 buyer speed figure, but let's take it with a grain of salt. These lightly raced two-year-olds can improve by leaps and bounds from day to day. Yeah, that's very true. This was a, a really nice debut from last coming, as you say, very wide into the stretch. 
And that horse that was on the lead, I mean, had a big comfortable advantage in the stretch. This horse not only ran her down, she had it measured at the end. She didn't look like she was all in to me, Dan. I, I think she's going to run a lot better in this race. Cassie also has Secret Stash, who is also cross-centered against the boys in the summer stakes. This is another private purchase since the most recent effort, a win against Maidens over a left-handed turf course in Ireland. The runner-up that day has come back to win two in a row. Yeah, they should run her probably in this race. I would think this feels like a weaker field to me, and I think she fits a lot better in here. Um, she won very easily last time. Absconded some decent things last time out. First time against winners in the Bolton Landing at Saratoga. We turn into the stretch, and Kamari is returning from Europe for Wesley Ward. She looks like a really nice turf sprinter in the making, and she had all the best of it on an easy lead. You see Abscond, though, on the outside, trying hard all the way down to the wire. I think Think this is a good effort the question is how is she going to appreciate stretching out in distance her sire liked it he was a breeders cup classic winner yeah a lot of horses in this field have to sh prove that they can stretch out she's one of them but she's run well in both of her starts she's just in and in a, like a lot of horses in this race she has to take a step forward let's take a look at our top picks for the grade one natal mistakes i want to give walk in marrakesh one more chance the european invader she's run seven and a half a couple of times i think she's got enough bottom for this i'm hoping she wants she gets some firm ground maybe she works out a trip for the rail not too far against fair maiden but i'll go one three yeah, I took Coach Lori. I'm just hoping that she can show the same kind of kick over a mile as she did sprinting in her debut. I was impressed with her debut, though. I went 6-3, 4-1. Grade 1 Natalma, one of a couple of graded stakes races at Woodbine on Sunday, has an approximate post 549 Eastern. Best of luck.